In this video, find out how much time and money it takes your Tesla to charge from a 0% to 100% at the Tesla Superchargers. Normally, my battery can hold about 372 kilometers of range, even with the degradation. But here you can see that the maximum range is about 272 kilometers. So my Tesla can't access 100 kilometers of range because of the cold battery. And of course, as you warm up the battery, this will be available to use. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm preconditioning my battery for supercharging. So when I go to the supercharger, it's super fast. And right now my battery's uh, heater is all also on. I'll show it to you on my app. So this is something that we got with a recent software update. If you click climate on the top right corner, you will see there's a battery symbol. This indicates that your car is preheating the battery and the battery heater is currently on. Right now you can see that when the preconditioned, like the battery heater is not running, you get uh, the actual, or this is not the actual, like it's a little bit colder than this. It's minus 23 right now versus when we started when it was minus 20. So it can kind of, you can kind of tell the difference a little bit, but it's not that much. We're at one percent, so we can do the test. Uh, how much does it cost to charge a Tesla from zero to a hundred percent? All right, park. Vehicle consumes battery power while idle. Charge now to ensure vehicle will start and avoid potential battery damage. So, this is something. This is I don't know if this isn't uh, Tesla's warranty, but um, it should be. If you have zero percent battery life, you should always charge your Tesla. If it's at zero percent, if it's sitting at minus forty, it will a hundred percent affect the major instruments like the center console and other electronic instruments so this is why you gotta ensure that whenever you leave the country you're like whenever you go on a vacation and you don't use your tesla for a while and if you live in a colder climate make sure that your tesla is connected so it has energy to kind of heat up the battery if it needs to so that's why we had that message so i'm gonna plug it in right now it's at one percent it's at red so that that's not good so let's connect it. It's 818 and that's when we start supercharging. Damn, that's frozen. That's not good. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I wonder when we are gonna get heated charging ports. So there you go, look at that go. And when it turns green, it started charging. So doing pretty well. It's the battery looks preheated enough to start charging. And it's doing about 68, 69 kilowatts and more. And this will keep going up. Just four minutes, that little blue bar is gone. I guess the battery is heated up enough and the charge rate, charge rate is increasing. It's at 88 kilowatt right now doing about 670 kilometers per hour and i've gained about six kilowatts in this short time the charging session uh, session at this point is 0 0.84 i'll show you guys how much it is when it's 80 percent and how much it is it's, it, when it's 90 percent and the final when it's about 100 percent okay so about seven minutes into charging and this is what it looks like so my 90 percent battery is about 338 kilometers and my 100% looks like to be around 375. Wait, it was just 375. Now it's... So this is what I'm talking about. Um, I, we need to re recalibrate this and see what my actual battery percentage is. Is it, do I have any degradation or do I just need to do some battery calibration? So it's about 9.03, so about 45 minutes is what it took from the battery to go from 0% to 80%, and it cost about $11.13. Now, usually it costs about $7 to $10 if it was at 0%, and it would take about 
um, 15 to 20 or a maximum of 25 minutes in the summer. In the winter, it took about 45 minutes and this time estimate isn't right either in the winter just because the heat is running and also the seat heater and also probably the battery heater, I'm not sure. Probably not the battery heater, but at the same time, the superchargers aren't as fast uh, in the winter either. So all, the, all that combined, it's not fast and also the time estimation is not really that good. So now turn to distance. Let's go to charging and to the max it's still showing at 369 so it's even lower so I'm willing to see how far it can go. So 914 about 56 minutes about 4 minutes from an hour we started at 818 uh, and the battery is at 90% I got about 43 kilowatt hour of energy the charging rate has reduced because it's 90% and the and it cost me about $13.23. So you guys will see how, even even though it says 20 minutes here, you guys will see how, how much longer it takes to charge from a 90% to 100%. You're not supposed to charge it to a 90 to 100% unless you really need to. But I'm doing this just because of the battery calibration today. And you'll see how much more it costs rather than the $13.44. I looked at the owner's manual in my Tesla and I couldn't find anything about battery calibration. But this is something that Tesla owners usually recommend doing and I've seen a lot of Tesla owners talking about battery calibration. So in this video, you're going to find out if that works as well. Alright, so it's 9.31, 99%, 5 minutes left and it cost me $16.80. Just a little, little bit more left. I got about 47 kilowatts of energy and uh, the charging rate reduced to about 8 kilowatts an hour. So at this point, it's better to go to a, a level 2 charger and charge. But just because I have free supercharging, I don't really care. I'll just stay here and let it charge because I'm technically not paying the $17. Um, and let's see how long it takes. It's the time is reducing. It says it's four minutes, but I want to see. I think it's gonna be stuck at ninety nine percent for a while. So I want to see for how long. So I think this rumor about the battery calibration might be true. So let's see how much this increases to. It says it's a hundred percent done, but it still says time remaining two minutes. Um, so getting getting a battery charge of around seven kilowatts and you can see here the it had a little bit of space there it doesn't anymore just because it's a hundred percent charge so i still want to see how far this keeps on going because it needs to say charging complete in motor for me to get out so the distance right now is 369 kilometers that i gained i have a 2020 standard range plus so this should be about 402 kilometers but i do have a little bit of degradation so I, i'm not expecting 400 but at the same time i was expecting somewhere around 385 or so so this is 369 i want to see if the battery calibration thing actually works and i kind of get uh, to see the 385 kilometers or somewhere near 385 kilometers so it said one minute remaining and now it's just calculating so this is basically what happens before the tesla asks you to unplug the car it hasn't happened yet i'm still keeping it on and i want to see how far this can stretch to it has costed me around 17 dollars 85 until now to charge it from zero percent to a hundred percent and it's a, it's doing about six kilowatts an hour and it's reducing this is reducing i've gained about 360 kilometers of range i'll change this back to percentage so this is so i gained about 48 kilowatt hour of energy and still doing five kilowatt and at 40 40 kilometers an hour is the rate of charge at this point so close to one hour and 30 minutes it's 9 40 a.m it's costing me about $18.90 and we're getting about 4 kilowatts which isn't enough to um, just keep the heater running I think so I'm just gonna stop the heater and stop the climate control I'm just gonna keep my seat heater on it's gonna get a little bit cold in the car but I want to see if the Tesla finally says that charging is complete so this is what it says on the app. It's doing about 30 kilometers an hour. We are at 372 kilometers. 
so i want to see if this increases to whatever i want it to increase uh, and if tesla finally says that charging is complete and i need to unplug the supercharger but tesla hasn't really said that to me yet so i'm still gonna i'm still waiting for the supercharger to tell tell me something it looks like it got a little bit warmer around the car so it's minus 17 degrees celsius even though it's almost minus 22 outside right now uh that's probably because of the sun but other than that uh it's doing like about two kilowatt and i don't think this is enough to even run keep the car warm or the battery um heater running so i think this is gonna be doing about two kilowatts an hour for a while I still want to see if Tesla finally says, okay, charging complete, you can go now. It's stuck at 372 kilometers, so this is not increasing either. And the current session cost is about $20.58. So it's almost 10 o'clock. We've been sitting in the supercharger for almost two hours now. It's doing about nine kilometers an hour. It's still stuck at 372 kilometers. And my climate, it's getting... Uh, Oh, look at that. The battery heater is running. So maybe that's why. So maybe that's what's using up some energy. And also I've turned off the climate controls so that it uses less less energy and the supercharger can finally say that charging is complete in my Tesla. But unfortunately, it isn't complete. It's about 7 degrees Celsius and it's about minus 24 outside. So it's getting cold in the car. I don't know how much longer I can keep this up. Okay, so almost two hours. It's almost 10.18. Uh, it's been stuck at like this, going zero and then one, charging at four to six kilometers an hour. And it's still stuck at 372. So I've given up. I don't want to stay any more longer than two hours at the superchargers. It, had co it has costed me around $25.62. I don't think it's going to get to... As, uh, like charging complete like tesla's not gonna say charging complete just because the uh, battery heater of the car is running and tesla is using some energy and the supercharger is giving out a little bit of energy so uh, i think this will keep on going on like this for hours and hours maybe in the summer i can get a full battery and a f battery complete and tesla will ask me to unplug uh, the tesla supercharger will ask me to unplug but not when it's like minus 24 outside the battery heater is running so it's not minus 15 uh, the air around the car is minus 15 but it's around minus 20 outside so yeah so i think this is this is i guess i can end the video right now this is how much it has costed me i'm gonna get out and unplug the supercharger oh Ooh, it's cold so see it's still green it's not it's not silver i don't know if you can see it's super sunny so i guess not so i'm just gonna click here plug it keep it back and this is gonna close by itself I'm gonna get back in turn the climate back on because it's super cold let's look at the battery so 372 kilometers it's that's a maximum I guess that's my degradation uh, I guess my battery is fully calibrated right now this kind of causes a little bit of anxiety so if you don't want to see anything in kilometer and don't want to see your own degradation you can go to display and change this to energy so everything will be displayed in percentage so you can see that it's about a hundred percent right now and whoa i don't know why my camera is defocusing okay so it's at hundred percent uh, leave it at that leave it at percentage not in kilometers uh, that's way better uh, it, it won't give you any range anxiety and your Tesla will tell you how when you need to charge so leave it at that and I guess we can end the video $26.04 is how much it cost me by no means it, this is the actual cost of supercharging the actual cost of supercharging is around the 10 10 to 14 dollars in the winter that I initially showed when my battery was at 90 percent charge and this is how much it would take you to charge to 100%. So this is why Tesla do doesn't really recommend charging to 100%. So now you know how much time and money it costs you to get your Tesla from a 0% to 100%. Hope you guys liked the video. As always, smash that like button. It really helps me out and my channel. And also, if you're new to the channel, welcome. And also subscribe and hit that bell notification button to get notified when I upload a new video. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Goodbye.